Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? 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 It's Friday. Cheer up, you bastards. Um, here we are. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on the PC. I'm using my Alienware R417 laptop. Keep in mind, this laptop, it's not recommended for 4K. It's not like a, a 4K laptop. That's why I have my Beast, my Aurora. 1080 with 32 uh, gigs of RAM and 8th uh, generation i7 ridiculously powerful processor. That's what that is for. There's a couple of things you got to understand. First of all, if you're going to be buying Samsung Q8FN, yes, it supports 120 hertz refresh rate. But with the NVIDIA graphics card, you cannot use FreeSync. You can only use FreeSync with AMD graphics cards, okay? Radeon RX 57580. So keep that in mind, okay? You can only use a FreeSync with the AMD graphics, are, graphics cards. And thank God I have AMD. I have uh, AMD computer with Ryzen 5 and RX 570. And I'm going to go ahead and do a test with FreeSync and 1440p 120 hertz, okay? That video is going to be coming in uh, pretty soon. But for right now, on NVIDIA, all you can do is 1080p, 120 hertz. What you're looking at right now is 1080p, 120 hertz refresh rate. That's because the NVIDIA cannot utilize a FreeSync. They have their own FreeSync called the G-Sync. So you got to have a G-Sync uh, capable TV or a monitor to utilize that. And uh, that's very important that you guys remember that, that you need to uh, understand. If you're going to be using NVIDIA with this television, if you're going to be using NVIDIA graphics card PC with this television, you got to have a uh, 1080p, 120 hertz only option available. I mean, you're going to have 120 hertz, 1080p option available. That's what I mean by that. So let me put this in a simple terms so it's not confusing. Here's, here's how this is. NVIDIA on Samsung Q8FN can only support 1080p, 120 hertz refresh rate, while AMD can support 1440p, 120 hertz refresh rate and the FreeSync. So if you have AMD, then you should definitely, definitely buy this TV. So I'm going to uh, do that test really quick. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let me uh, go over here. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, right now it's at 120 hertz refresh rate. And it only goes up to 1080. See right here, 1080. So you can only use 120 hertz on 1080. That's the refresh rate you can use. You cannot use... Uh, 1440p and you cannot use FreeSync. So if you turn the FreeSync on on your television here, it will automatically kick you out and you won't be able to have a signal. You can use a game mode, but remember the game mode, it's only going to be able to use a low input lag latency, which I'm going to show you right now. Right here, let's go to the general, let's go to the external device manager. Uh, you, uh, we already got that. You know, I can turn the game mode on, but I can only use the uh, low input lag latency. That's all I can do, and you will see. You will, you will see. I'm sorry. Today, I cannot talk. FreeSync, it's not available because it's only supported with the FreeSync, okay? So... This computer, it's NVIDIA, so I cannot use the FreeSync. However, I can use the game mode and have, my, and have even better low latency, okay? And that's pretty cool that you can do that on this TV. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Even if you don't have AMD, if you have NVIDIA, you can still use this TV with the game mode on to have low input lag and then 120 hertz with 1080p. This 1080p will be upscaled to 4K, 
But remember, the whole point of uh, they're low on lives. You know what to do. The whole point of we have the cash. Locate the exfil site. The whole point of this game is to have the best possible performance. Okay, that's what this game is about. It's about performance. You know. And that's what you want on Black Ops. That's what you want on Battlefield. You want the performance. You're gonna get that. Now, another cool feature. Another cool feature which I forgot to do. For you guys over here, another cool feature is when you go to the external device manager, when you go to the game mode settings, you can adjust this. The blur reduction. You know, you can you can adjust it any which way you want. You have that ability to do that. And that's pretty cool. So. Here we go. Like I said, run smooth. Uh... I would recommend mouse and keyboard, but if you want to, you can use a uh, controller. I mean, you guys have an idea how fast this is. You can't see it because you're watching this at 1080p 30. But I can, I can tell you that there's really no input lag here. It's, as, it's smooth as a butter, man, all right? There we go, we won. You make this look easy. But if you don't care about the motion flow, you can turn that off. You can go over here and you can turn it off. You can go to the uh, the picture mode, you go to the uh, external device manager, and you can go to uh, game mode settings and you can you know utilize this. Blue reduction, keep it at uh, four, keep it at three, three and four, and you can reduce it, you can do that. Plus 120 hertz refresh rate. What's the whole point of this video? I know you're going to say, well, well, okay, Mr. 4K, but I'm kind of confused. What's the point of this video? The point of this video is to tell you this is why I call this television a very well-balanced, versatile television. Meaning that they really thought about everything. They want to give everyone a choice. Whether you're a gamer, whether you're a PC gamer, whether you're a competitive gamer, whether you're somebody who wants to enjoy 4K and HDR movies, they are giving a very well structured, 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 I'm sorry, very well structured, balanced option for a consumer. And I think when you're buying a TV, that's what you're looking for. That's what you want. All right? You want all of these cool balanced features. They're implemented into a TV. A lot of people forget that. A lot of people seem to brush that away. They're so stuck on the deep dark levels. They're so stuck on the peak brightness. They're so stuck on the color accuracy. They never thought about, well, what about all these other features? You know, we, we can't forget about these other features. You know, this is 120 hertz, and this looks amazing on 120 uh, hertz refresh rate, especially on a 1080p, man. It's super fast. And uh, like I said, yes, it's 1080p, but remember, no one cares that it's 1080p upscale to 4K because a gamer only cares about performance. A true gamer who's going to be playing this game, it's only going to care about this, the performance, okay? And that's what they want. They want the accurate performance here. That's what they need for a Black Ops, for... Uh, Battlefield 5, those types of games, okay? Now, I do recommend that you guys use a mouse and keyboard. This is much better with the mouse and keyboard. Watch out, watch out. There we go. There you go. Get me, get me up, get me up. <laughs> he got me. There we go. We run the uh, we won the round. Stay 
just so it happens that this TV has great deep dark levels, great color accuracy, great peak brightness, and excellent game mode features with a low input lag, free sync, 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, yes, if you have a PC and you happen to have AMD graphics card, even better. If you have an AMD PC with a Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, uh, Radeon, uh, RX 580, whatever, that has a, a free sync built into it, then, man, you shouldn't, like, watch this video right now. You should quit this video. You should go and buy this TV because you're going to utilize that free sync so much better with 1440p and 120 hertz and the free sync with the ultimate option to it. Uh, and then when you connect your mouse and keyboard, I mean, you're going to be enjoying this uh, much, much better. Oh my God. Anyway, I guess this guy's built of steel, whatever, I couldn't kill him. So I don't know where else I can tell you that uh, in terms of 4K, uh, yes, you can play this in 4K, but remember, you're gonna need a, a very beefy PC. Uh, with the laptop, this laptop wasn't designed for 4K, so don't expect this laptop to be able to handle the 4K. Uh, the best this laptop can do is like 1440p uh, QHD uh, with, with ultra settings. Uh, but when it goes to 4K, this laptop, it's really not designed for 4K. And if you want to utilize the 4K, you got to use my other desktop PC that I have, uh, my Beast, which is a uh, Aurora 1080, GTX 1080 with a i7 8th generation, 6 cores, 9 threads, uh, 4.8 gigahertz processor you know with the 32 gigabytes of uh, ddr4 ram you got to use something like that if you want to utilize the the 4k but no one's going to be playing this in 4k to begin with guys okay no one cares about the 4k uh for black ops because you don't have time you don't have time to be looking at the scenery okay remember what i said this is not a type of game where you care about the 4k this is the type of game where you care about performance and this is why 120 hertz will be a something I highly recommend. Look, all of them are dead. Oh, Jesus. It's something I highly recommend for Black Ops. Uh, come on, come here, dude. Come here. Oh. Come here, dude. Where? Oh, damn it. It was too late. He was there. He was hiding there. Did you get him? I think I got him a little bit. Did we get him? Fuck, run, run, run. Ah, <laughs> he got me. So there you have it, guys. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else I can say that I, read, uh, that I already hasn't said here about the uh, this. Again, this is just my first look into it. I'm going to try my Dell AMD... Ryzen and uh, RX 580, fi I mean 570 AMD computer. I have a desktop that's built all entirely with the AMD. Uh, AMD graphics card, AMD processor, so everything's AMD. And uh, the free sync there is going to look hell of a lot better on this TV with 1440p and 120 hertz refresh rate, which I'm going to work on that video as well. Uh, so there you have it. You know, yet another reason why maybe you should think about getting this TV, okay? Because uh, to me, the, the performance and the low input lag, it's something that's going to be a key factor to a lot of gamers. All right? You know what I mean? Oh, come on. I hate these little devices, man. These little stupid devices, I hate them.
Where did he go? Oh, I'm the only one. Oh, oh. Ah, he got me. Well, there you have it, guys. That's all I have. Thank you for watching. And um, like I said, this is a uh, one example why maybe you should. Hopefully, you guys. Here's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully, you guys are looking at all of these videos, collecting all this information. Uh, no one's doing the tests like I'm doing on all these televisions. And what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to give you guys the most honest, unbiased view on on this television. Uh, this is a very well-balanced television. And me looking at it from a consumer point of view, I think that's what I'm looking for when I'm purchasing something, when I'm buying something, when I'm buying a new car, a new this, new that, whatever it is, I'm looking for what am I getting? What's the value here? And this TV has a lot of value that I haven't even scratched the surface, uh, quite honestly. I haven't scratched the surface because I don't have that enough time to scratch the surface. That's why the video is going to be in November, like full 43-minute review on this television and everything that it has. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching it. This was the PC, uh, 120 hertz refresh rate. 1080p on the NVIDIA because NVIDIA doesn't support FreeSync. NVIDIA only supports G-Sync. And this television doesn't support G-Sync. It only supports FreeSync. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.